Greetings, welcome to another day of Auto Forge development. So, we finally got all of our teal um, infrastructure set up and we're able to start developing and teal and Lua and kind of filling out what our um, scripts are going to look like and gameplay logic. And just kind of out of curiosity, I decided to spend a day kind of working on events in the teal side or Lua and see what their performance looks like. And also just kind of getting a little bit more familiar with teal and how to properly code in that. And so I worked on this event class here that is pretty basic, you know, you can add or listen um, to some specific event and then that event can invoke, which will just call all of its listeners. And that's pretty much it. Very simple, straightforward class. And it took me a while to figure out like how I wanted to structure this. I was playing around with generics and seeing what I could possibly do with that, or maybe, um, you know, subclassing or something like that. And again, like I said, I'm just trying to get familiar with Teal. Um, it seems like you can't really do exactly what I wanted, which is have a generic where basically what would be preferable is to have the function that we are listening to this, uh, the arguments, um, be specified. So that way, whenever we invoke, we have the proper, like on both sides, really the listening side as well invoking side it um is exactly as we want like if it if the invoking takes a, an entity and some id a number then it would be nice to be able to specify that here so that way the um, caller is warned if they're doing something wrong but I couldn't figure out a way to actually make that work inside of Teal. So um, we just had to say, hey, it takes any number of arguments that can be anything. But once we got that set up, I went and started playing around with some code. I think we can look at that. Um, up here where we are profiling the C++ events and the Lua events. And what happened will surprise you. The C++ events that are going from C++ to Lua to C++ to Lua to C++ to Lua 100,000 times is actually faster than the Lua events where we're just invoking the Lua event and it's staying within Lua. Why? <laughs> I don't actually know why. I was playing around with that and I'm trying to get a better understanding of why that's happening. Uh, if, if we have it so that we have one listener that we invoke 100,000 times, the C++ is faster, not just by a tiny bit, but actually by 2x essentially, or even more. So it's 0.9 seconds for 100,000 calls versus 2.19. So that's like 1.3 or close to 1.3 seconds faster. So it's like it's almost 150 times faster. Um, surprisingly, if we have a hundred thousand listeners and we only invoke once then the Lua side is actually faster so there's something going on with this invoke that I honestly don't fully understand yet and I, I, I think I'll spend some time today investigating like I'm wondering if something weird is happening within um, Soul and like how Soul is setting things up 
Uh, I'm curious if we're actually using Lua JIT after all. So I was gonna see what this looks like in the interpreter, uh, the like um, bare Lua interpreter, as well as trying it in the Lua JIT interpreter, seeing what happens. Um, but it is surprising to see this. Uh, and so this is, again, the invoke function. Now, I even tried, like, commenting out a lot of this to see if just, like, invoking, you know, iterating over the listeners and invoking the listener and not doing anything else would be much faster, and it wasn't. So I'm not completely sure what's going on there. Um, beyond that, we looked at uh game events and i figured out a, a nice way to like set up the game events and use the that in c plus plus which really um is now just actually using our game events so this is kind of like a global game event um c plus plus isn't going to actually use too many so i was thinking hey we could just do this have this here but yeah, we'll see. Um, so I'm gonna investigate some more and do other stuff. Yeah, you'll find out what we're working on later today, today or tomorrow, depending on when I post this video or when you watch it. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later.